Hey everybody, it's Sarah from The Style Blog and welcome! Today's video I'm so excited for. I'm doing a February faves and fails video for you guys. So I'm showing you my absolute favorite products from February and then the absolute worst fails that I'm probably going to throw in the trash after I film this video. So I'm going to go over my February favorite products first and then I'll go over my fail products. Guys, I don't want you to waste your money on these products so be sure to stay tuned for that. And then at the end we're going to finish up with my favorite non-beauty products. I have some like snacks and fun stuff like that. So let's just get started with some makeup products. I feel like February was the month of eyes for me. I don't know what it is. I just was on an eye kick I guess. Okay, so let's start with eyeshadow palettes. I actually had three that I really love from this month that I keep using over and over and over again. Every morning when I put my makeup on, I'm like, I can't decide which one I want to use because they're all three so good. Let's just quickly touch on this one first. This Too Faced All Natural Nudes Born This Way eyeshadow palette, amazing nude palette. I've done two videos on this. We're not really going to go over this much, but I love it. It's really good. Secondly, I have this Going Coconuts palette by ColourPop. This palette retails for 12 bucks, and it is great quality. It's a great nude palette. Guys, this would be amazing for traveling. You just put this tiny little palette in your makeup travel bag, and you've got a whole nude palette. You can do sort of smoked out colors. You can do an everyday color. You've got the three metallics in the middle. This palette is gorgeous, and I love it. I'm actually wearing it right now. I really like it. Okay, so I'm not going to go into a complete total tutorial review of this, but I did swatch it on my arm so you could just see these colors. These are so gorgeous. They're great for summer. They're also great for just a year-round neutral palette. I'm kind of in love with this palette. It's so good. Last eyeshadow palette, I have this Ace Beauty Vintage Dawn palette. Hello. Very vibrant colors. If there's a new release nude palette, hello. Sarah's going to pick it up. No question about it. But I tend to not go for the crazy palettes as much. This palette is amazingly pigmented and it's been really fun to play with. I love making these blue looks. There's a really beautiful deep green in this. That's gorgeous. I guess I made a sunset look using my No Mirror Makeup Challenge and I love making these yellow, orangey, sort of burgundy sunset looks. Um, this palette is gorgeous. So if you want to try a palette that doesn't use sort of your everyday nudes, this palette is so pigmented. The color payoff is amazing. I've been loving it. Okay, again, guys, I'm not going to go into a super in-depth review of this palette, but I did want to swatch it on my arm just so you could see it. Look at those colors. They are so vibrant and pigmented. These metallics are just like my favorite formula. I swiped these once, and the payoff is incredible. So this has been a super fun palette to play with. I really enjoy it, and I hope to buy more from this brand because... This palette is such good quality. Okay, let's move to eyeliner. So I did a whole video on these, the Flick Stick. There's these eyeliner stamps. If you want my full in-depth review, head to that video. So you don't have to worry about perfectly winging your liner out. You just put the stamp on and then connect it with the other end. So nice. <laughs> okay, second eyeliner, I bought this NYX Epic Ink Liner. Instead of this being a felt pen like the other ones I've tried, it's actually a little brush. These are little bristles. It helps it go on so smoothly. I can draw on a great winged liner with this, no problem. And it's very inexpensive. And let me just swatch this makeup pen for you guys really fast. So the next eye product that I've been obsessed with this month is this a Collagen Eye Zone Mask. So I put these in a Ziploc because they tend to dry out if you just use their little reseal resealable zipper. These are just little eye masks. I've been using these pretty much every single day and it's really helped with the puffiness and darkness underneath my eyes, especially right after I wake up. I leave these on while I, you know, brush my teeth, get my breakfast ready, etc. Oh, these are amazing. They work so well. And the good news is that I bought these on Amazon after a friend recommended them to me. You get two packs of these, so you get 60 sheets for less than five bucks. I've been giving these away to everyone. I gave these to my cousin, my mom. Everyone loves these. They're so good. Okay, last eye product, and then we have two more makeup products. So this eye product is the Lash Lift. So guys, I gave myself an at-home lash lift lash perm, and it was amazing. My lashes are still curled from that. It was almost a month ago. So I didn't want to make an appointment and pay to get it done at the salon. I thought I would just do it at home. It worked so well. It was pretty easy. I have an entire in-depth video on this, but I love this this month, and I'm going to keep doing it every single month. The results were amazing, and my eyes look open and awake all the time now. Like, it makes my mascara curl last all day long. Huge fan. Love these. Next, I have this Wander Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. 
So this is the first time I've tried Wander Beauty and the formula on these is so velvety and smooth. This bronzer is super buildable, works amazing with my skin tone. This blush is gorgeous. I just love this palette. I've been using it for my everyday looks pretty much every day. It just is so smooth and sulky. I don't know. I've been loving it. So as you can see, there's the blush and there's the bronzer. They're not super dark, but they're very, very blendable and buildable. Okay, and last makeup product is this Physician's Formula Healthy Lip in All Natural Nude. Guys, I don't know why I haven't tried their Healthy Lip formulas before. This applicator is also amazing. Can you see how it kind of goes to a point there? It's very easy to sort of line your lips with this and then fill it in with the wider part. I'm wearing this color now, and this formula is so satiny and silky and smooth. It doesn't dry your lips out. It doesn't feel you know, drying and chunky and doesn't peel off like some of the matte lipsticks do. This stuff is awesome. I wear it all the time. Let me give you a little swatch of this on my hand so you can see. Okay, let's move to my February fails. Oh, and then I'll mention my non-beauty favorites at the end. So I have six fails. Guys, I hate doing fails because I don't like talking bad about products, but I really don't want you to waste your money on products that don't work. First off, hair care items. This is the Amica Supernova Moisture and Shine Cream. So I actually didn't purposely order this. This came in my BoxyCharm this month and I couldn't figure out what it was. <laughs> um, my mom even came over and she's putting it on her hands and she's like, this lotion is so slimy. I was like, but it's not lotion. <laughs> So I did think this was lotion at first too, and then I thought maybe it was a facial moisturizer. Turns out it's for your hair. <laughs> Had to do a little Googling to figure that out. I've heard great things about this brand, but this particular shine cream just did nothing for me. And guys, I put this in my hair and it just turned it into a crunchy, crispy, stiff mess. It was disgusting. Then I washed my hair like normal and it didn't add any moisture. It didn't take away any frizz. I noticed no difference with this product and it made my hair feel so disgusting. Ugh. So this is a fail for me. Okay, so next is this Rin Cleanser. This is called the Perfect Canvas Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. So honestly, I'm not used to an oil cleanser, but I went into this with an open mind thinking, all right, I'm just gonna give this a fair shot, whatever. I put it on my face. It just feels like I'm rubbing like a coconut oil all over my face. It wasn't great. It didn't foam up at all. It says it's supposed to turn into like a milk and sort of foam up, take your makeup off. It didn't take my makeup off at all. Like. Maybe 50% of my makeup came off and I kept using it and I kept rubbing and rubbing and rubbing to where I couldn't rub anymore and I didn't want to use any more product. My makeup was still fully on, my eye makeup and my face makeup. And I rinsed and rinsed and rinsed and could not get the super oily feeling off my skin. Like I know what a moisturizing oil is supposed to feel like and this felt like I just put like olive oil all over my skin. I felt like I needed to scrape it off with my fingernails. I didn't, but I felt like I should. I also tried this in the mornings and used just the tiniest amount when I didn't even have any makeup on and it still left my face feeling like an oil slick. I hated it. And to top it all off, after I used this for a few days, my skin started breaking out like crazy, like everywhere, which doesn't ever happened to me. This was definitely to blame for that because I haven't changed anything else in my skincare routine. And for 32 bucks for this thing, I just didn't love it. I'm just gonna stick with my drugstore CeraVe that I've used for years and years. So next, my BoxyCharm came with this Illuminati makeup sponge. So there's not a whole lot on this company. They have one Instagram post. Their website's a little sketch and supposedly this retails for $21 on their website. Come on. <laughs> I am not buying this. I actually got so mad at BoxyCharm this month for sending me crap that I canceled my subscription. This sponge is so dense. It doesn't soak up any water. It just basically smears the products all over my face. Like it doesn't actually tap them in. It's like almost hard as a rock. It's not good. So anyway, I don't think any of you are going to be buying this anyway, but I just wanted to mention that it was awful. Lastly, I have three ColourPop fails. I'm just so disappointed. I usually love all of their stuff. So first up is this ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner. This is basically an eyeliner. This is the color Call Me. It's kind of like a burgundy brown. I love the color. I love how smoothly it goes on. But the problem is I've worn this like five to eight times. I keep wearing it because it's beautiful. But I look in the mirror within two hours of putting it on and there's nothing left on my lid. I've tried it with eyeshadow, without eyeshadow, with primer, with foundation, etc. I've tried it every way and it just doesn't stay on. So I'm going to swatch this for you so you can see it because I don't want to spend all this time on my makeup in the morning and then have it just come off. 
Okay, next up from ColourPop. I've heard so many amazing things about this product. I was like, for sure it's gonna work. Um, it was awful. Come on. So I have this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is in shade Light 16. I actually love the shade. I love the coverage. It just creases like crazy. Seriously, I put it on and within 15 minutes, I have creases underneath my eyes, on my forehead. It's just it just doesn't work with my skin at all. I do have pretty oily skin, but I don't really think that's the culprit. I don't know, maybe if you had no wrinkles ever and you never <laughs> moved your face, this might be perfect for you. It just didn't stay in place at all. Comes this nice little tube with a nice little wand. I don't know, I'm gonna swatch it for you so you can see the coverage. It goes on very smoothly. It feels nice on your skin. It just doesn't stay put. Lastly from ColourPop is this ColourPop No Filter Sticks Foundation. Let me get this open, there we go. This is in shade Light 40 In. Again, I'm really impressed with their color range and their shades. I can always find a shade that fits my skin. I feel like this formula was just awful as well. So this formula was worse than the concealer formula, if you can imagine that. I love the coverage, I love the color. I feel like it has great consistency, great color payoff, great blendability, etc. So I've worn this, again, probably five to eight times with and without the concealer, with powder, without powder, with a primer, with different primers, etc. I feel like I've tried this every way and I can't get it to stay put on my skin. Honestly, if I put it on and then I smile, I'll have creases here. I don't normally have wrinkles there. It's just because I smiled. I feel like it just sits on my skin and then shifts around all day. I'm gonna swatch this for you so you can see how it goes on. So anyway, not trying to make this work anymore. I've tried too many times. It's over for me. I'm breaking up with it now. Okay, enough of the negatives. I hate talking negatively. It just like drains the energy out of me. So let's finish up on a positive note. Let's go over some of my favorite non-beauty products for the month. <laughs> I have a couple food items, a decor item, and a hair item. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, guys, first off, I've been loving the scrunchies so much. I especially love these ones with the little ties on the end. I actually just wore this one in my film remodel video a couple weeks ago, so check that out. These are just so fun and cute and, like, a great way to elevate your look without even trying or make you look more fun and more festive. I don't know. I just am loving scrunchies lately. Okay guys, next up, I've been loving greenery. I haven't really decorated with florals or greenery before because I feel like I don't wanna add a color to my space when actually this isn't really a color, it just kind of adds life to your space. I have put these all downstairs. I've obviously decorated my entire film room with them. I have a nice little succulent here. I have plants over here. I just have been loving this. I'm basically putting these fake plants all over my house. And it just makes it feel so much more homey and airy. I don't know, I've been loving this stuff. Basically, I've bought all these from Target because they have such cute ones. And lastly, let's end with a couple food and drink items. I used to do this way back in the day and I've missed it. So I've been obsessed with these wheat thins, just like the original wheat thins. I eat them every single day. They're so good. They're like the perfect amount of sweet and salty and crunchy. They're so, so good. I'm just obsessed with them right now. Okay, and lastly, I haven't always been a coffee drinker, but since I have my daughter, like, it's necessary. I get no sleep. So I've really been loving this Stoke coffee. We just buy it from Walmart with our Walmart pickup every week. Guys, my Walmart pickup could be a favorite too. I don't have to go into Walmart and go down every aisle looking for stuff. I just order it online, pull up in my designated time slot, and they load in my car. Like, life-changing, amazing how do we ever live without grocery pickup? I don't know. So I'm not like a hardcore coffee drinker yet. Maybe I will be someday. So I've been drinking this with pea milk. So my brother-in-law recommended pea milk to us. And if you've never had it, it's kind of just like a thicker sort of milk. It almost reminds me of like an eggnog consistency, but it doesn't taste anything like eggnog. It's just like a nice clean milk flavor and you can get it sweetened or unsweetened. And then I top it off with a splash of the Starbucks caramel syrup and I have myself a nice, good tasting Starbucks drink at home for not a lot of money. Guys, let me know if any of you have tried pea milk before. It's pretty good. I mean, I was surprised. It didn't taste anything like I thought it was going to, but it's actually good. All right, guys, I think we've gone through everything that I wanted to go through, all of my faves and fails. Thanks for sticking with me through this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Everything will be linked below as always, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.